Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do an actual legit unboxing here, unpackaging of a package I got in the mail. I was away for the week and came home. This was at my front door. Wife picked it up and uh, we're gonna open it up here. I have a pretty good idea what this is. I had ordered an Esheen EX2 Mini drone. That's the Bugs 3 Mini clone, I guess you would call it. Uh, thanks to Perth West Oz. Check out his channel. I'll put the link up right now. Uh, he threw up the deal. Let everybody know that you know there's a sweet deal here on Banggood and check it out. So sure enough, if this is what it is, I did go check it out and uh, ordered that drone. Got a sweet deal. I ordered the drone with the camera. Retail price was $112.61 Canadian. I paid shipped with insurance $67.27 Canadian so that's what I'm expecting this to be in the only thing that's catching me off guard is this is right around two weeks a little bit less than two weeks from when I ordered it and it's at my front door so if this is not what it is it's a total surprise but I'm pretty sure it's the Esheen uh, EX2 Mini so let's take a look here well, look at the packaging, it's pretty good, and it's got that sweet, like, bubble wrap envelope. And that's what it is, and, wow, that's a surprise. I'm looking at it through a nice bubble wrap envelope. I did not order the goggles. The goggles, if that's what's in there, those goggles are a freebie. Because I just ordered, at that price, was the drone and the camera. The goggles I didn't need uh, with the display, the the D43 display, and that's what it looks like is in there, unless that's just the camera that's in there. I guess we'll find out here in a sec. All right, let's flip this, find a way to open it. I'm going to flip it over here. Opens up on this side. This is kind of curious. The goggles here I did not order, and if that's what's in there, that's, that's a huge bonus. So I'm going to add get the drone out of here to begin with and we'll look at that in a sec because right now I want to check out and see if I actually got some goggles in there or if it's just the camera all right it's it's heavy it's heavy this is interesting and I have to give a big thumbs up to Banggood that's a sweet way to ship a drone nice fully bubble wrapped envelope that's kick-ass I like that all right See what we got here now. Open that up. Open that up. All right, here we go. This is exciting. Do I get more than just a camera? Do I finally win and get a freebie? Bam. Hex, yeah, guys. Check this out. They sent me the goggles. with the display. This is the same receiver display I used for uh, my dad's uh, FPV Bugs 2 I built for him. So that's pretty sweet. I know it works well. There is a mod that I want to do to this. I wasn't willing to do it to my dad's where we put an external antenna on this. I will be doing that with this, I guess, now. Uh, that's, that's awesome, guys. Wow. Another set of goggles. Go with that, that's cool. There's the bracket, or sorry, that's not the bracket. That's the sunshade. Sunshade for the goggles. We got the little adapter for the back of the goggles. Now, that adapter will not fit on, oh, you know what that adapter will fit on? That'll fit on the, the e-sheen here. I'm thinking of the Bugs 2 controller. And then the charging cable, sweet. That is, that's kick ass guys, wow. I just got a free set of goggles, the display, I'm pumped. 
that's awesome. And I just paid just over $67 Canadian. And not sure if it's a screw up or what, but uh, yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That was not supposed to be part of the deal. We'll put that aside. And let's get the e-sheen opened up here. We'll put the paperwork for the, the D43 there to the side. Okay, it's nicely packaged, nice cellophane wrapper there. Keep that box in mint condition. Sweet, so what we got here, angle mode, acro mode. We got, it says 1306, 2750 KV motors, 2.4 gigahertz communication, the AX2 mini. The other side of the box there. Sweet guys, that's what comes with it. We got a set of props, a prop changing tool, charger, one battery, four prop guards, you got your, your transmitter there, and the drone. Sweet, let's... I'm just pumped getting the damn well goggles on that one, that's pretty sweet. Open this up. Put the box to the side here for a sec. I'm gonna have to uh, order up some more batteries for this thing, so let's get right into it. I hope we get some stickers with it. I like getting the decals. Not counting on it. I've never ordered an e-sheen version of the Bugs drones here, but uh, let's we'll see, let's we'll see what's in there. You got your quick start guide. That's pretty sweet, nice big print. Lots of color photos there, awesome. Your instruction manual, thick instruction manual. Several languages in there. So you've got four languages in there. Typically, I won't look at them any further than this. Doesn't look like I get any stickers, but oh well. Let's pull this transmitter out of there. I was pretty stoked to uh, get this drone. I've been, I was looking at it for quite a while. I was actually looking at the Bugs 3 Mini to get it, but I never, uh, never made the purchase. Now, fake antennas, we know that quite well. There's actually a nice spot right there to do an external antenna mod maybe. Well, actually, I guess you would just pull the fake antennas out and do a dual external antenna mod. Non-altitude hold, I believe that's your acro mode or angle mode, lights on off. Lock unlock motors, low high speed, camera button, trim buttons, and your on off button. And on the back side, oh, you got an L1 and L2 button. Only the L button is functional. That looks like a fake, the L2, if I remember correctly. I watched uh, Perth West Oz's uh, review, and I believe that button was fake. And we got a dial on the side here, also fake, non functioning. Okay, let's see what we got. We got four AA batteries. Depending on how much I like this drone, we may do a conversion to use a single LiPo in there. But we'll see. I gotta get uh, flying this thing, see how much I like it before I commit to doing that mod on it. All right, so that's the transmitter. Let's put that aside, trying to keep this quick as possible. Get the rest of this open. Let's take a look at the drone here. And I believe this drone is under 250 grams, which allows me to not register this and have a little more freedom with the flying. So I've never seen one of these Eshines or the Bugs 3 Mini in person. I've only watched videos. It's quite small, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. So that's with the battery in it. You know what I'm going to do right away before we get any further? Let's confirm. Let's throw the scale on here. Make sure it's zeroed out. That's full flying weight right there. 182 grams. Let's see if I can get that up. No, it doesn't work if I move it. 181, 182 grams. That's what it's weighing at. So perfect. Well under the 250. Has some room to, if you need to add some, if I want to put a different camera on it, we'll see. All right, so there we go. The four props there. It's got some brushless motors, like we said earlier. Camera is in the drone there. 
camera is there. It's got the little protector on it right now, a little film protector. And like the Bugs 3, I thought this was the best thing about the Bugs 3 was being able to pull that body off with a quick, uh, and this one's a lot tighter than the Bugs 3 to get off. So let's see. That's because if, all right, a little tab here. That's what you pull up on to get the back off. And then I'm assuming you just work towards the front from there. Yeah, no problem. Right on. So there we go, camera's in there. It's got a little FPV plug in there for the camera. Pretty cool. And yeah, nice and simple. Nice to be able to change out that camera if I want to. I'm probably going to ream out the cover here a little higher so I can tilt this camera up. What I've heard is the main complaint for this is the camera being set in dead straight level. If we tilt it up while we're flying FPV, especially full speed, it'd be nice to have that camera looking a little bit more level on the horizon. So, and I think that's gonna be easy enough to do. It looks like there's six screws here holding the camera in. If I'm looking at it correctly here, three screws on each side. I think all we have to do is undo these two front screws on each side, put a little washer underneath them, build it up, space it up with some washers. Should be good. Some guys, what I've seen when I was watching some reviews on this is the cover gets in the way. You actually start seeing the front cover. Well, if we ream that out a bit there, which I think we can make that look nice and neat just with a Dremel. We'll make that look factory, bring it up, which will allow some airflow on the bottom side to get through and keep this thing cool so we can fly it a bit longer, a bit harder without worrying about overheating the electronics. Sweet guys, well, we got a battery in here. One thing I will be doing to this, let's see, a little spring loaded. Okay, a little spring loaded. You Push up on that, pull the, one of the tabs out on the side. The battery just slips in there. And it's got a little cover on, that's what I was looking at. So there we go. We're gonna do a mod to this so where we can either use the stock battery or a lot of guys have been pigtailing and I believe they've been just right off the board here. The outer two pins here, these are your negative. The outer two pins on the left hand side are your positive, the middle looks like it's blank and it is blank it's not soldered to anything so what we'll do is we're going to pigtail a JST or a maybe a T plug connector this is a two cell battery it's a 7.4 volt 850 milliamp battery that comes with it with a 45 C discharge rate these batteries can find they're the same batteries as the bug 3 mini I think what I'm going to do though is we will rig this up so we can either use the stock battery or we can use an aftermarket battery which we'll be able to slip right in there, plug the JST and when we're not using it we'll have to come up with a way to make that uh, connector uh, kind of tucked away somewhere which shouldn't be a problem, yeah there's not a lot of room with this but yeah, there's plenty of room just to tuck it up on the inside here. Not worried about that at all. We'll be definitely doing a battery mod to this to accept aftermarket batteries. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's about all we need to see on the drone here. Nice sleek body, I like that. The plastic feels great, just like the Bugs 3. Okay, let's see what else comes with it. Now, looks like you got your charging cable here. Well, just a... You know, Yep, here it is. Here's an adapter. Comes with an adapter to use the battery. Looks like the battery just slides in. Yes it yes it does. Battery just slides in like so. And there's your charging. That's that's cool, I guess. But I don't see how I'm gonna be able to use my uh hobby grade charger with that so we'll have to maybe come up with some kind of uh, or figure out some kind of way to rig up a pigtail or something all right so there's your charger what else we got in here prop guards four prop guards these won't be coming out of the package they'll stay in there for as long as this drone survives 
We've got prop removal tool. This is kind of useful. I uh, love keeping one of these around, especially when I'm flying a Dirty Bird, since since I have the Bugs 3 motors on the Dirty Bird on my Bugs 2. This comes in handy sometimes when switching blades, if they tighten up too much. We've got a little screwdriver, another one, add to the collection. we got a full set of props here, four props. That's nice. And that's it, guys. Again, nicely packaged. Look at how they've put the plastic in on the bottom here. Like so, just prevent that drone from getting uh, scratch or damage. I like that. Good job. That's that's pretty sweet, Ishin. Good packaging on the drone there. Came safe. Fires up as you saw. We'll get out there and get this thing test flowing. I'll probably uh, record that, share a video with you as well. But until then, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya. Yeah, yeah.